Welcome back to the Let's Play. This is episode four of our island survival. Things are going so well. We're gonna build some really cool stuff today, but before we do anything, let's fish until we get something very nice. Oh, I finally got something. That took a lot of perseverance. Smite 4 wasn't worth it. I built some paths. I love paths in Minecraft. Just helps me go in the right direction a lot of times. Without paths, I'm always running all over the place and hurting myself. So I got one going down there. I got this one going over here. And I'm starting to build my bamboo piles. Um, so these smaller piles, I don't think, or maybe I might, but this big pile right here, I want to make that I'm holding a big piece of cloth above this with sticks. It's kind of interesting, but uh, yeah, that just goes over to that stone beach. So I'm gonna attempt this real quick. Wish me luck. Did you wish me luck? I don't think you did. Hey, that didn't turn out half bad. I might mix in some trap doors, but yeah, I, <laughs> it looks like a cloth, right? I'm just protecting my bamboo. I can't let it get too wet. I'm drying it out, that's what I'm doing. Or I can make an area where I strip the bamboo. Like I wanna make this whole area just like a production ground for all my bamboo I use on this island. Could probably make some mini versions to go over these, but I have more pressing matters to deal with right now. And that is to find dripstone, to finally build this dinosaur skull I've been wanting to build, and that requires to go off the island, which I don't care. I'm not forcing myself to only be on this island. If I need certain resources, I'll go out to other land. So let's do just that. By the way, this is technically episode 569. I know for viewers far in the future that are wanting- Oh, look at my place. Who are wanting to track my series. The way I'm doing it now can be kind of confusing. Is that a cave right there? Oh, look at that. My presence on this island is really showing now. All right, I'm gonna go out to some land out here and hopefully find some dripstone caves. Oh my god, there's a lot. Oh my god. 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 I'm gonna die. I didn't know there was somebody up here. No! No! No, 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 guys. Chill, 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 chill. Chill, 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 chill. Give me back my stuff. Oh. Oh. Thought you could win, huh? You must not know who I am. I'm Slime Man. Did you at least have anything good? Yes. I'll keep a crossbow. You okay, Jude? It didn't hurt you. All right. There's our beloved tower we just came from. My home is past the ocean that way. First cave I look in, which is right behind me, is looking a little promising. Wouldn't you say? Um. Okay, I'm out. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, uh, yeah, I have all the dripstone I'll ever need here, and there's a mine shaft. Let's get to it. Luckily, I brought some scaffolding. Wait a minute. Wasn't there a thing where you could add... What the heck? How long has this been in the game? Oh, I'm totally doing that. Why did no one tell me about this? Oh, God, that's so cool. Now they definitely will mess with me seeing that on their banner. It's like, oh, he took on them guys. Okay, no, 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 don't, don't do that. Oh. Oh, heck yeah. I think that'll be enough for my skull. Hopefully. Uh, got this. A first name tag. Got another. Uh, third one. Diamond. And another name tag. Get rid of that. Huh. Huh. Got a zombie spawner. Oh, yeah. Another chest. What do you want? Another chest. I just found this whole other part of a cave. Look at this. More mine shaft. Oh, God. Don't want to fall down there. But I got what I came for. I'm going to go build my skull. It's been a while since I've made a sign about stuff I discover. Maybe one day I'll come across this again.
Okay, I got a set of dino dentures made. Right there, actually. <laughs> so, I was having a real hard time deciding where to put this because... The original spot was gonna go up in this mountain right back here. I thought this little divot would have been perfect because it looks like a bit of an excavated site. And perhaps I was building my house around it and then we could look at it and examine it, but it's so hidden up here. I wanted to view this thing because I'm putting so much work into it. I want to be able to see all the details. So perhaps this hill is slowly eroded over the past like 200 million years and is showing this giant dinosaur. <laughs> And this could not be the only spot. Maybe like on the other side of the house over there, way over there, we can build giant like femur bones or other bones of the skeleton. So you can see this is going to be pretty big. This is the mouth. Uh, there's going to be eye holes like right here. I'll just start building it and shut up and show you the what I mean. Okay. Oh yeah, this is going to look cool. It's going to look pretty cool sitting up there. It's not just going to be alone too. I'm going to have scaffolding around it to make it look like we're studying it or whatever. But I can't help but think I need to put some sort of dark material behind, like all on the inside to really highlight the teeth and all that. Oh man, look at this. It's hard to get a good angle on it because it's just, I guess this is a better angle. You can kind of see my idea. I got nostrils, got the eyes, got the teeth. This is millions of years old in my head. So I am going to just leave this as a skull. I will kind of close this back end up a bit. Oh yeah, that was a great spot to put it. I don't know if I have any dark blocks though. I might have to go to the nether and get blackstone. As cool as it looks without like a dark inside, it really blends in with the dirt. Oh man, this is such a cool addition though. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I already had a lot of paper. Whoops. Anyway, it's time to make a map of this place finally. Whoa! Oh, you can, wait, what is that? Oh, that's my bamboo farm up there in the top left. Oh, you can see my dinosaur skull there. I need to make a map table. See my collection of goodies here. <laughs> I started just throwing all kinds of stuff up here and I'm starting to like this storage idea of just stuff everywhere. That looks like a someone peeking around the corner looking at me right there. I need to map out my whole island actually. That's what I'm gonna do. I finished my map and it looks like a battle royale map. Doesn't it? And it looks like Fortnite or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's much bigger than I thought. We still have this really awesome waterway that goes down into a lush cave right here. A lot of this snow is hard to traverse because it's a lot of the powdered snow. But we could build something up here eventually. And I still want to build a dock over here and well, this side might be impossible. Because this is literally a hundred foot cliff right here. Oh, I can make some planks go off the top and then we could just use it as a diving platform. But that's enough with the map. I have an idea. It, it's going to be a really hard one for me. But here we have our skull and I really like it. But what if... Oh, it's going to have to be pretty big because this is a big skull. But what if we continue the skeleton but only the spine and rib cage? So it'd be a little bit under this hill and kind of come out right here. But have it where I dig it out on the inside to where I have a giant room that I live in, but it's surrounded by the rib cages and spine. And I could walk through it to eventually get to another room, which is the skull. And I turn this into a room. Now in my test world, this skull looks a lot better when I line all the inside with black because it really highlights the eyes and the teeth. But I got a feeling it would just look a little strange just having random black blocks on the inside. So. I guess I'm gonna attempt this rib cage. I need the leather. Don't judge. Okay, uh, this was a great idea, by the way, because I'm loving the way it turned out. Running out of space. Gosh dang it, add the ability to use these. I wanna store stuff in them. But okay, here's my rib cage. I'm not gonna go through, build a tail and arms and all that, because there's really no use. I'm just gonna act like that stuff is still buried. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty big rib cage. I think this is fitting for the size of the skull. Um, I'm probably gonna build a few more ribs going down this way, getting smaller and smaller, but <laughs> look at this, this is so cool. I'm gonna leave this exposed right here, most likely. I'm gonna go through and replace all this dirt with stone as well, because it sticks out way more in stone than dirt. But this is going to be a room of ours. I don't know what to do in here, and then I'm going to 
go ahead and make a pathway to get to the skull. Okay, I want it to look like I slowly excavated this out myself, so I'm gonna add in a lot of pieces like this around. And I think down here towards the tail, like on the last rib, should this be the last one? No, I'm gonna build one more, and then right through that is going to be my nether portal. Okay, I gave it an excavated look a bit with some stone splattered everywhere. I don't know how I'm gonna convert my house into this. Maybe I'll just have, yeah, a pathway coming down here. I just make it look like I carved this all out with a pickaxe. I could probably go through and throw some cobble in. It doesn't have to all be stone, but I want it to look like I carved it out. So this is, it was all in stone anyway. So yeah, just have it going over here. Replace this all with stone as well. We could turn this into my, I guess my bedroom. I have my bed right here. That'd be pretty fitting, wouldn't it? <laughs> this is really cool. I've never built anything like this. This is gonna be our main hub. I got my portal set up here. Okay, let's start throwing stuff inside. Oh, yeah, that's, I, I did I think I did a good job. I was afraid the skull was a little bit bigger than the rib cage, but it actually fits it pretty well. Okay, all right. We're going back down to the ancient city because there's still a lot of stuff down there. I need a shield. Come on, buddy. You're not done yet. There's still plenty of chests down here. Oh. And I'm really wanting to create my diamond armor with my silence trim. I'm looking so forward to it. Although, I think you can only get leggings from this place, right? As far as I've noticed. You son of a gun. Kind of forgot I haven't cleared it all out. <laughs> okay, a new chest. Decent enchantments, okay. There's absolutely no shriekers or sensors at this one. This one's pretty nice. It's also covered in lush stuff. Pretty bland loot. Oh, I love there's no shrieker stuff. <gasps> More pants. Curse of binding. Oh, I can't put those on. So if you guys saw, Java Snapshot just released some of the new trial chambers and there's also a secret key added to the game i love stuff like this it didn't tell us what it unlocks but it's going to unlock something i saw someone suggesting it might unlock a stone chest which i wish i wouldn't have read that because it's most likely not it Ooh. but i just love the idea of having different chests in the game we only have one type of chest or maybe i saw someone referring to it unlocks the portal to this place oh what if they're serially working on a new dimension Oh, I love Minecraft updates. Give me something Ooh, good. It's a lot of stuff. Another enchanted apple. Another chest. Okay. Another chest. Okay. Another one with no shriekers. Not complaining. Pants, 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 pants. I got the pants. Okay. I mean, that's good. I'm gonna use that actually. I'm just starting to realize they actually don't have any other armor in here, so I'm gonna have to go mining for diamonds. I think I've explored the whole place. Yeah, I think I got most of the chests. Uh, it just, it infuriates me. It's like, why didn't they do something with this? At least let us pick up this block. Oh, they made it even, like you can't even mine it now. Oh, you can, whatever. I never, oh, there's a chest up here. Oh, nice. <laughs> I never go in the secret room because it never has anything good. Oh, it has pistons. I guess I'll take these. And repeaters. This is a cozy little room. I sleep in here a lot. <laughs> Did come back with some really good loot. Uh, I'm gonna start putting my diamond armor here. But what I didn't also realize... Oh, I only have one silence. And I will need to make three more silences. Oh God, which requires seven diamonds. So I need 21. I need 38 diamonds to create my whole set of armor I want. 30, I, that's doable. I really do need to get a fortune pickaxe. Oh, I just saw my skull. I think it looked so much better in RTX. I don't think I have fortune in there. I would have noticed. Let me look at this. <gasps> oh God. Oh yeah. It creates the shadows to create that effect like as if there's darker blocks in the inside. Oh, look at that. Pretty cool skull. Oh yeah. Oh, look at the inside. That's awesome. 
How about the ribcage? Looks even better. All right, well, I am going to go ahead and end it here. Next episode, I want to try to get my armor made. I want to make the place where I can start placing signs for my donators. I'm going to get the portal going. We're going to go in there. We're going to decorate this place. Probably going to expand the house even more. All I can say is I'm having a blast here. This has been so much fun. <laughs> a good escape from our normal... Not that I needed to escape. We just need a refreshing start every once in a while. Wow, look at that. But today's comment question comes from Zach Crook 3111 In the future, do you think you will travel far away to start over again? Or maybe have several places you've started over in? So, I was a bit confused by this question. I'm assuming maybe you are new to my channel because I've done this at least two other times. Two or three other times. So we are not new to this. Um, this is kind of a reoccurring theme for me. And this is basically what I'm doing here. I am, I moved this far away to start over, pretty much. But, like I've said, and I've always promised, this world where my big greenhouse is and my lab and my city is never going to end. This is the world I'm always going to return to. So that's why I went this route rather than starting a new world on a completely new world. Because this gives me my same feeling I want of restarting but I don't have to give up this world. And what makes it even better is, is considering I'm staying in this world, when I go back home and I travel in the future, I might come across this again on accident and it's just such a huge nostalgia feeling. It's just so nice coming across things in your world that you've worked on a long time ago. It's a really good feeling. So yes, I plan to do this many more times in the future. I mean, this might be just the best way to approach new worlds rather than starting a new world and eventually getting bored of it. And I also wanna thank Charles Brown for their kind donation. Thank you, Charles. It was very sweet of you. And Zach Plants, with a massive donation, made it on the wall that is not made yet here, but will make it on the wall back in the chapel back at home. And wh what should I do here? Should I build a chapel again or should I do, no, I feel like I need to do something different, more unique. Something that I haven't done before. What could that possibly be? I thought of like tiki heads or something along those lines. I'll brainstorm a bit, but uh, yeah, thank you, Zach. You will make it on whatever I decide to make. That is such a huge donation. I very much appreciate it. And we got a donation from Brandon Coolbreath. Coolbreath. Interesting last name. See, every time I read someone's last name, I try to think back to early years because back, way back in the day, your last name was usually from your occupation, but this was like way back in the ancient days. And names drastically change over time. Some, like my name changed over the last few centuries. I know that very slightly. My last name is Meadows, and I think it derived from Meadows, like a meadower. I think that was a occupation way back when. You guys just had really cool breath apparently. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and Mohammed Almarzuki. Almarzuki, what? That's a cool name too. Couldn't tell you what he did. Maybe worked in a zoo. Thank you, Muhammad and Brandon. I appreciate you all so much for your donations. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the... I will see you in the next episode. Okay? Let me just catch this fish and then I'll wave at you. Or a bone. Bye-bye. <laughs> what the... It's got a name tag. Okay, now I'm gonna end it. Bye-bye. <laughs>